everybody, it's Marielle, Mom and a Girl with Plans, and this week I am planning in my classic happy planner, the week of November 9th through the 15th, and it's finally feeling like fall here in Texas. I mean, I say that, but it's like, you know, 80 degrees still. I don't know what's going on, um, but I wanted to use some fall stickers, so I grabbed, you know me, I grabbed all of my fall sticker books, and... I'm gonna kind of mix it up and have some fun. So I wanted to show you what I, I've always choose too many, but I just wanna show you what I'm working with here so far. Um, and again, these are out of these three sticker books and they all have colors that blend really well together. So I pulled these out and I do plan on using the leaves. Let's see like these, and then there's also leaves that coordinate in this one. Let's find some, and a little cute squirrel, and all the colors kind of just all match. So I'm going to be, I mean, as if this wasn't enough, I'm gonna be probably adding some of the leaves from here. So, I wanted to do something with this whole, the leaves are falling, autumn's calling. So I think I wanna start with leaves. So let's let move this aside. I want to kind of line the top with leaves and maybe have some in the corner. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking of doing. So I think I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start layering the leaves from the top. And I haven't decided if I'm going to, I probably will cut them. And just kind of go with it. I think I'm going to lay some of the bigger ones down first. Let me get some scissors out because I know I'm going to need to cut some of these. And I can use the other pieces. Like I'm going to save them. So for example, if I put this one here, like, whoops. Come on, man, stick with me here. If I put this one here like this, I'm going to use the other half on this side so we can put it let's say over here there. so it just adds that like dimension to it alrighty so we've got that um, and I want to add a bunch of color so I'm going to let's put this one at this angle going that way and we'll add this fun blue one. I don't even know how many of these pretty blue ones I've got. So I might, I might use him kind of down here. I usually don't put them like all the way out there yet until I know, but I really know I want to use that one. And I'm going to grab this. And I should have, I should always do this. If you put them down on the wax paper first, I learned this trick from Allie. It takes some of the sticky off of it. So you're not, you know, if you do need to reposition it, it'll be easier to do. Okay. So I have, a, you know me, I'm gonna move stuff around and I'm really just kind of haphazardly putting these leaves down because I mean, that's how leaves fall, right? It's not always perfect. Ooh, there's some big ones here. See, I wanna make sure I use the big ones. Like maybe this big leaf one. Wait, okay, see, see, I already need to move something. I'm gonna move this blue one, which I did not pre-stick. So let's hope he comes off, that he plays nicely. And whenever you're layering stuff, I mean, it's just, It's not, it's not a perfect science. It's not always gonna be, you know, exactly, you know, quote, right. But this one up here. It does, it, because it doesn't have to be. It's not gonna be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna stick that one on top of there. There we go. It's just fun. And let's see, I'm gonna put that one anywhere. I mean, falling leaves aren't always, you know, exactly a certain way. So we're just having fun putting different shapes down and colors. 
and I'm going to start mixing up books here also. Get some of these bigger ones down. Might put this here. There we go. And let's take a look in the other book because, yeah, there's some different shapes and ones we might want to use. So this little guy, he could go... He looks too much like that one. He's going to go on this side. She calls me I want to angle him a little different. I'm just literally going to rip that off. Okay. And let's see what other leaves we have in here. Got some little loose ones and some acorns as well. Ooh, but there's also these fun foil shapes. These might be fun to add in as well. We can maybe grab one of these. Let's just try it. That's fun. And I'm gonna add one over here. Because why not? Actually, we're gonna add the thinner one that has just the outline. And I'm gonna tap, tap it down a second, just to get some of the sticky. Okay. And I'm really kind of covering up the top boxes because for what I have in the week, I know I can fit it all in here. So it does take some planning, you know, like do you know what you have going on for the week? And that you've got the room to kind of play with it. So, oh, these are cute. Let's add a yellow one of these. I like adding all the different tones and colors in. All these pretty fall leaves. I don't know, we don't have in, in Texas, sometimes we just don't really get the same fall colors. If we do, it's like a week. Like one week and you get a couple of pretty colors and you, that's it. And we don't get the true deep, deep red. We get more, we do get some yellow. It's just not the same. Um, I've seen some beautiful pictures that people post um, from up north and I'm always a little jealous of the gorgeous leaves that you guys have up there. Okay, this little guy can go here. Let's cut it off. Whoa. Hold on, he's just trying to get down there. I should have cut it first. Let's see if I can get it off there. There we go. I'm gonna cut this one in. I like to cut them too at an angle, not just perfectly straight across, so that it gives it a little more movement. I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay, and then we can use this tail like just cause it's a tiny piece, you can still use it and create those, oops, that's not straight, those layers. And again, it's just about kind of having fun with it and what looks visually good to you. It's not, you know, ever gonna be perfect. But that's kind of the whole goal. And you can even cut one. I always cut them at a weird angle. So I'm gonna cut this one like this. And I might use part of it right here, like that. And then the other end, we'll just put it over here. There. Okay. So it's just about filling it all in. So let's take a look and see what other fun pieces we have. There's some really big leaves. These are cool. This green one's a new color. I like to add, make sure I'm adding a bunch of fun colors. Let's do that. Let's just cut it. Wait. Actually, I feel like I need to have a tail on here, so we're going to do this one. And, whoa, that's loud. Sorry. There. And we'll use this side right there. So it kind of looks like, you know, just some fun falling flowers. Ooh, this one's really pretty. 
All right. Ooh, I think I'm gonna use, well, I just feel like it's a lot of orange, but you know what? We're gonna add more, so it's gonna be okay. There. And do I wanna have one right here on this side? Maybe I do. There, that's kind of fun. Okay. Now we're gonna add some kind of loose, like this, like the full flower can be kind of out on there. Gets to be on top of that one. And here's a pretty orange one. Over here. don't want to cover too much of that one so I'm just gonna kind of snip around like it's underneath there I want to have some of that color showing through all right now I feel like I need a little bit of green we'll use some of these smaller ones like this and we'll just kind of place them that and I need something fun over here. Maybe this darker green. Oops, he's just going the same direction as that guy, so I'm gonna put him this way. There we go. It's starting to come together. I think I'm gonna add some of these foil colored berries just for fun, kind of randomly. Let's put one here. We can even add these acorns in for fun filler. One there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be like completely perfect. It's just fun and relaxing. So it's like, you know, just stick or fill in wherever you want. I'll put that guy there. Yeah, this one here. I can add a big one on this. Well, no, I'm saving him. He might be cute for something. Let's see. And we'll add a little bitty guy, maybe over here in that corner. There. I feel like I might need one, like, one more little leaf. Let's see. How about this one with some foil on it? No, it's pointing too much with the other one. Ha ha ha. Maybe going this direction. Would that help it? Or is it still too much orange right there? I'm not sure about that, but I've already got this leaf there. Let me see. Let's see if we can find a different leaf. I know there's always a ton, so it's not like it'd be hard to find a different shape. Maybe one of these. See, the thing is with layering, like now I can't stop. I'm just like adding more, adding more constantly to my, no, adding more to the picture. I don't want to go too far in. I feel like I'm starting to get, go too deep. There we go. There. I think it looks layered enough here. one little guy here and then I'm gonna start doing the rest of the spread now that I've gotten whoa some fun little yeah 
That looks good. And you can, I mean, you can keep going and going if that's the thing with layering. Alrighty, so we've got this down. We've got that top part. And I know I'm probably gonna have some in the corner as well. So let's see. Now I wanna think about what I have this week. I know I've got something on. I'm probably gonna cover that apple with a leaf. So I've got something on the 11th. I'm using a mobile grooming for the first time. I don't know if you guys have done that. I have never done that. So we'll see what our dog thinks, what Izzy thinks about like going out in the front yard into a truck. I don't know, it's gonna be crazy. But I think it'll be good. I am excited for her to get groomed. Although she's so cute right now. Like it always happens. Like it's like when you go to get a haircut, like. All of a sudden your hair decides to be like perfect when, you know, when it has to be cut. It's like, no, don't do it. Don't cut me. But yeah, so she's pretty, I know she's mad and she needs it, but oh, my poor baby looks so cute right now. She's all fluffy. Alrighty, so I've got those two for sure. And then I have something on the 13th. So maybe, let's go for... Just one of these. And like I, I always do, stuff is gonna come up during the week and that's fine. I've got plenty of spaces to add. If I ever needed to, I could actually just add a colorful box over these leaves. I mean, it's fine. I don't think I'll have to, but you know, I, I think I can fit everything down here. All right, so. I think, of course, as always, I have chosen way too many stickers for my, <laughs> for my planner. I always do that. Like, I, they all match, so I start, like, grabbing them all. And then, you know, you can't use all these stickers, Mario. So, I'm gonna just, I'm just layering stuff for fun. Oops, that's too long. Maybe it'll go down here. Living my best life. I'm trying, y'all. As I'm sure everyone is trying right now. We're all trying. This squirrel is too cute. And he needs to go right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And then... I mean, I'm just, again, having fun with it. So, maybe... Ooh. I might have a today sticker there. And see, I don't, I don't have a to-do yet. I think I'm gonna put that over on this column. I really wanted to use these stripes, but I just feel like I've already got enough going on on here. You know what? I'm gonna change this up. I'm going to, I'm gonna cut it, you guys. What is happening? There. Look at this. What in the world? I just want to, you know me, I've always got to have my to-do task list over here. So I think it'd be fun to have it like that. I'm wondering if I should... Let's see, let's just go for it. Oh my goodness, crooked lock. Come on. I should be using my little piercer because I can't see what I'm doing when my hands are in the way. Alrighty, so I've got that. I could actually use this box to write in, so I think I'm gonna save it right here because I might do that. All right, I do want this quote, so I'm gonna put it right here okay you know me i've got to cover up the line and again whenever i use these jelly pens to cover up a line it's never like it's not perfect and i'm fine with that because it's just enough you know what i mean to where i don't see it 
so perfectly through the um, the sticker. I don't like it when words are, you know, like this little squirrel having a little line there, that's really not bugging me. But if it's, you know, words and I see a weird line going through it, I cannot. In order to do this also, because I noticed if I just draw, it doesn't work. So I'm kind of like doing it in little circles. And this is the, the 10. It's a little bit thicker of a tip than the other one. If I keep going over this, it's probably gonna not work. Okay, see, I can see. I'm like, come on, tap, tap, tap. There we go. Let's see if that's enough. I need a little bit more. So I'm just gonna kind of go in circles. Almost if I didn't press down hard. Like you would think if you press down harder, it'll cover it and it's actually the opposite. Okay, so let's see if that goes there. It needs to do a little bit here as well. So I'm gonna lightly, lightly kind of do my little circles right here. My gosh, this is probably to be like watching paint dry. Sorry, I'm like, do do do, just drawing away. Now, if I want to move the sticker, we're gonna have a problem, right? Because now I've <laughs> I've whited out this whole section. I'm not moving it. This is like, this is real permanent now. It's not going anywhere. Okay, let's get the paper piercer out so I can see what I'm doing before I lay that down. It's gonna go right there. Oh, I see a little bit of line. So when you do that, you can kind of see where you're at and just make sure you've got enough. Again, I'm just kind of lightening it. It's not like perfectly covering it. If you want to perfectly cover it, then use some white out. Honestly, at this point would have been quicker, right? Alrighty, so I'm going to put that right there. Yay! Okay, got that. And then let's see if I want to use any. See, I feel like this autumn vibes is just a little too much with what I've got going on here. Um so I don't think I want to use that. But I want to cover that. And when I'm covering something, a lot of times, especially like the, there's a teacher and student books have a ton of these really cool colorful boxes, but I don't always want the element in it because um, it might not match my spread. I mean, the apple goes, but it's not, I don't have apples on here. So when you do, make sure you find a leaf that is not the clear it's got to be like you know solid white so that it will not show through that's a really big one hold up Let's see if i've got a smaller one i liked that color though so it might just have to be that one let's look we'll check in here all these colors are just used throughout so many of these pretty fall books so always double check and see if you've got more of them, more stickers. Like there's a pretty orange one. Let's see if this works. Let's see if he's big enough to cover that. And he is. Perfect. All right. I might use this yellow one right here. And we'll add a green one over here. Let's see which one we want to add. Maybe one of these again. I could just add a plain leaf. Let's see. I want to just add a little leaf so it's not competing too much with that box. Let's see. Yeah. Whoa, sorry about that. Okay. I think it's looking good. I'm going to add Since I've got some room right there, I'm gonna put a little acorn. I think it's cute. Let me look back at what I had chosen. 
let me see. Yeah, I feel like this kind of, like adding all of these elements because I have such a heavy, you know, decoration at the top, I feel like this is all way too much. Um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead. Let's turn this around and use it right here. See, we kind of created our own little colorful box, right? And I'm gonna add a leaf to it to tie it in with the others. I could do a little focus on. Let's go for, oh man, I just, see every time I open the sticker book up, I find other ones. I was like, oh, I could have used this. Like, look at all these cute things. Ah, today, thanks. So yeah, see, this is just means I have to do more pretty fall leaf spreads. I think that's good. And we've got everything covered on here. I've got room for what I need to write as well as extra room to add more. So thank you so much for watching me create this fun leaf fall spread. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment below. And thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos from me. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful week.